Last problem, problem number seven, and in this problem we will need to build a control chart and check if the process is within or out of the uh, statistical uh, control. Okay, so we have a number of defects uh, and uh, we are sampling uh, 500 cans uh, every time. So let's uh, put uh, here samples, let's say, and uh, we are taking 500 samples. So uh, every time, so we are taking uh, 500 cans uh, in each sample. Uh, in each sample. And um, then this is going to be proportion, proportion of our defects per each sample. And it is equal to uh, 20, in this case divided by 500. Okay, and so on and so forth. And in total, we we tested some of all those cans, uh, 10,000 cans, and uh, we found this amount of defects in this 10,000 cans. Okay, so those are our uh, p-values, uh, p-values which we are going to plot. Yeah, and then uh, we will need to um, plot the center line as well as the limits, uh, the lower limit and uh, upper limit calculated uh, using these uh, formulas. So in this case, uh, our uh, p uh, bar is uh, equal uh, equal to, and this is total number of the defects found. So that's uh, total number of defects uh, divided by total number of the cans. So this is our p bar. So the q bar is going to be uh, one minus equal to one minus uh, p bar. Okay. And uh, then what else do we need? Uh, and this is the size. And n is equal to five hundred. Yeah, so be careful. Uh, don't mix it with total number of items sampled. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's calculate uh, upper control limit. Upper control limit, and this is uh, equal to uh, p bar uh, plus uh, three multiplied by squared root. By squared root, uh, that's uh, p bar multiplied by q bar and divided by uh, 500 yeah so 500 so it's our m and uh, that's it yeah so that's it so let's also fix those values so then we can use it for the lower control limit as well okay so this is our uh, uh, upper control limit and then a lower control uh, limit uh, lower control limit and this is uh, this is equal to the same come on so let's copy paste this to here and here we'll take minus okay so this is our lower uh, control limit Okay, so we need to plot uh, the center line, uh, upper control limit, lower control limit. There are a couple of ways of doing this. Uh, what you can do, for example, uh, you can take this, let's say, copy, uh, put it somewhere here, uh, and this here, maybe drop it down. Okay, so something like this. Yeah, so I think this should be enough. And uh, this is going to be our center line. So this is our center line. So then here we will have the uh, lower control limit. Lower control limit. Let's grab this value. Let's copy paste just the number. Let's drop it down and let's take the upper control limit, let's say, yeah, and let's put it here and let's drop it down. So this is going to be our upper control uh, limit. 
Okay, so that's uh, what we have, and let's plot uh, those. Uh, let's uh, grab all this stuff, and let's insert. Let's insert the line plot, and let's insert this one. So something like this. Uh, let's remove this. We don't need that. Okay, uh, so now let's just insert. So this is going to be our P control chart. Control, control chart, chart. And uh, let's insert, uh, let's see the data, oh, that's it. And let's just insert this one here, my proportions, it's okay. And okay, here we go. Yeah, so here we go. So now we can check if our process is uh, within statistical control yeah so if you have statistical control that means like yeah we have some process yeah and the quantity of the defects like in each uh, sample is uh, kind of like random uh, number yeah so it's, they should jump around like our center line back and forth without going out of the control limits we shouldn't see like any 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 trend uh, and we shouldn't see uh, we shouldn't see too many points uh, under the line or above the line Okay, so for example, here we see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We see 10 points uh, below the center line. So right away, the process is uh, not within the statistical control, as well as we observe the, the trend. So we can observe like definitely the trend, that number of the, of the defects is uh, decreasing. Okay, and if let's say the problem is asking for an action, uh, so for, uh, for an action, uh, here the action should be taken like to investigate why number of the defects like is uh, decreasing so we can improve uh, the process um, and we should see so what like improve the process why number of defects became uh, less but as you can see even though like we are within the, the limits uh, still this is out of the statistical control because we see the trend we see the trend and we see 10 uh, points uh, um, below the center line so something similar, so something similar is going to be uh, given in the uh, final exam. Uh, it's going to be a control chart for P or P chart. That's control chart. And you can put it here. P chart. Okay. okay, so something like this you will need to do in problem number seven. There are several other control charts uh, which you can find in the book, but on the exam it's just going to be a P chart. Okay, so something extremely similar to what I've done here in the problem uh, number seven of the sample test. Okay, so that's it. As you can see, uh, we will have just uh, seven problems, uh, two hours as uh, uh, for the midterm, so quite uh, doable. And uh, if you uh, prepare, uh, if you go through uh, everything. Um, you need in uh, in the schedule and you go through the quiz number two tutorial and uh, this uh, uh, tutorial for final exam you should be uh, good so you should be uh, prepared okay uh, that's it so that's it so that's uh, everything i have for uh, the final exam